Hello everybody, I'm Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Moscow campaign in EU4 Mew and Texas. So, I am going to... Attack... Blue, Blue Zero. However you pronounce their name. Take those two territories. I'm going to make Tiver break their alliance with Lithuania. I should improve my relations with Novgorod. Not them, them. Attack. Novgorod won't join. God damn it, Novgorod's worthless. What are you even here for, Novgorod? Really, though, they don't join any war. There's no war that they would join. They would attack. Okay, they'd attack Tiver. They'd attack Lithuania. But they won't attack any other Russian prince. Uh, so do I want to do this by myself? Maybe? I do have a lot of troops. Yep, yeah, sure. Let's do for that province. Come on, get walking. Depending on how quickly Sukov comes over, I might have to just peace out to Ver. Whoops, that's fine. Let's see, let's grab this province. Maybe they will... accept the cancellation of the alliance without me actually taking one of these territories. We'll see. Oh, so Navgrad wants to get over here to deal with those guys. Yeah, you can wait. So they would accept... Let's see, where is it? They won't accept this. I think I just need this province, and they'll accept this. And they will break their alliance with Lithuania. And then I can attack them. They'll probably ally Yaroslav, because I'm going to kill both zero, and they're going to break their alliance with Lithuania. what my assumption is. And they still won't do it. Hmm. So I can either wait or take their capital. I'll send this guy to take this province. These guys can move into their capital. Maybe now they'll do it. Yep. 
because of, uh, I mentioned besieged, besieged provinces, yep. I could make him a vassal. <laughs> that would solve the problem really quickly. It is a lot of aggressive expansion, though. It's an idea, though. That would give me the claims. Because I don't have to actually occupy the territory. I just have to hold it. Owned by Muscovy or its non-tributary subjects. And then... I would take out Blue Zero. I'm butchering that name, I know I am. And then Yaroslavl would leave in 79. Hmm. I do have a slot for them. I think that's what that's what I'll do. That's what I'll try for. And then uh, hopefully their liberty desire won't be too high. They're going to hate me, but let's disable divert trade on those guys. They have, what, uh, 7, 18, 20, 20 development? It's not that much development. There's Sukhov's men. Let's take their other province. I have no idea where their men are going. Trying to come around. They might, their men might come down here and unite with them, so I don't want that to happen. Take out that one stack. one stack there just so they don't build any more troops. Hey, 523. Ivan, sure. Okay, they're not they didn't come together, so I 
What's their tech? Tech 8. Well. I'm still tech 6. Ah, uh, those damn, uh. Those damn grid nobles. What is this? I'm at the max, right? Yep. Okay, so this is the max. Plus 15%. And then there's corruption. And all commoners banned from officer core. And then there's bonus idea steps writers people. It's a lot of privileges. I really don't want to fight Sukov. I'm just going to try to siege down their territory. I might just take this territory and leave this there. We're going to take this province, which is fine. It's acceptable. I have to watch them, because after they get the siege, they might try to come up here. I'm going to move these men up to a glitch, so they're together. Where are they going? Now they're going to Kazan. No, Galich. Galich? Transoxiana wants access. Transoxiana is fighting Lithuania. I don't want either of these guys to win. Like, Lithuania fighting White Horde? I don't feel strong enough to move against either ah against either of them. See the white horde by itself is nothing. Like they always just implode. But the white horde with allies it's powerful. See, they, the White Horde has no troops. It's like, I, I could easily just conquer them if Transoxiana wouldn't fight with them. So I think I'll accept this. Alright, I lost that. Which I knew was going to happen. They're going in different directions. As long as they keep sieging, that's fine. 
if they unite and come over here to attack, that's not ideal. Alright, so I can vassalize them. That's more, uh... I guess it doesn't really matter. I can seize territory right now, so that I don't give them liberty desire. More liberty desire. Wow, taking their capital was uh, the key to everything. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. If uh, if their liberty desire is over fifty percent, I can always just release them. So I don't think it will be. Well, it might be at first because they probably hate me. It's actually not that bad. Negative eighty six. The worst thing is aggressive expansion, which is going to take a while to go down. And we are historical rivals. Or I could just completely annex them. But that's double the aggressive expansion. And they don't accept. I think I'll wait. I'll wait and I'll take that territory. And then I'll see. those guys off. So they would accept. They have no choice. Aggressive expansion isn't that bad. I think Novgorod doesn't show up here because they are allied to me, so the aggressive expansion might go above 50. So they, they might join the coalition as well, but after this, Tiver would be dead. And Bolazero would be dead. So that would just leave Yaroslavl, which I could fight and annex in one war. So I'm not really worried about aggressive expansion that much. It's only 10% overextension. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is think about it. In between parts, and end this part here. And uh, I will make my decision at the beginning of the next part. I'm just going to ah, continue to analyze the situation. I think I'm leaning towards annexation now, just because vassalizing them would uh, probably give them a lot of liberty desire. It's easier just to an annex them, so I'll probably annex them, but I'm going to look around some more and uh, pick it up from there. So I want to thank you for watching, and say goodbye.